All right, guys, Jake's RC Addiction back here again today to do a full unboxing of the new, well, not very new, but newer RB10. This is the one that comes with the battery and the charger. Um, I didn't need the one with the battery and the charger, but it's all my little coffee shop head. There's your charger and your wolf pack, which is very cool. It's got a nice actually calm actual packaging, so if you decide you don't want to use them, you don't have to. There's the car, there's the radio. Um, let me grab my scissors here, cut some of this stuff out of here. In the box, get the car out. I have two more big straps, so we'll cut these. Take a look at this label quick. Um, oh, it is okay. It's not actually a shorty pack, it's like a regular success pack. Weird, I thought it was a shorty pack. Let's go ahead and take the body out quick. So, um, you can actually run like a six cell, not a six cell, sorry. You can run like an actual 2S LiPo in here if you'd like, which is very cool. I thought it was just like a, you were just going to be able to run shorty packs. God, do I got a freaking LiPo on in here? This 3S is going to be too long. What put my freaking 2S back right hand? So guys, here you go. You can see I stuck a regular 2S in there. Um, this is a Vonic, um, 5,000 milliamp hour. It's gonna be a little bit better battery than this comes with. Just something to keep in mind. And as you can see guys, it's not super speedy. But let's actually. It's gonna be good enough for this little buggy. So we'll turn that up and obviously it works. It does have a 3300 kV motor as I said. It has, I believe, a 60 amp ESC, which should be good enough to run 3S through this thing if you wanted to. However, I would not suggest it. It does have more of a tub chassis design. Um, it does have aluminum shocks on it, but they are not threaded, which kind of blows. 
Um, this thing is supposed to be ready to hit the track and go race right off the bat. However, though, I don't know how well you're going to keep up with some other guys out on the track, just being what this thing is. This is a race buggy design. However, I think it's more set towards bashers than racers, in my opinion. Um, if you look at Team Associated's actual kits, like their mid motors and stuff, they're a little more chassis, they're a little bit longer. But this would be a nice buggy just to start out with if you're just looking to get into racing. It would work. Um, as you can see, it's I mean, it's got a really thick construction for the ABS. It does have aluminum links, which is awesome. Bearings aren't loose out of the box, which is very nice. Uh, I mean, everything in this buggy looks pretty solid, guys. That's going to be it for this unboxing. Uh, when I can run it, I will post up a video of running it, so make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss it.